Hey folks, this is Rusty Warden with Rocker Down Studios, and today I've got another quick hit for you. So, uh, have you ever wanted to use Siri on your Mac, not your iOS device, but your Mac, and you're sitting there going to your computer, hey Siri, hey Siri, hey Siri, hey Siri, why isn't she ever listening to me? Well, uh, that's because she doesn't listen to you on your computer, which uh, I'm not going to be judgy, but Steve Jobs, we miss you. Uh, anyhow, so I'm going to show you how to do it uh, the sneaky way. Um, so the first thing you need to understand is that you've got a keyboard shortcut that launches Siri and it is a command key and a space bar. Um, that same keyboard shortcut will also launch Spotlight. Uh, so one is command space and hold um, and that launches Siri currently and the other one is command space and that launches Spotlight. So we actually need to change that because um, uh, we don't want to have a conflict. So I have changed mine to control command, or excuse me, control alt command S uh, for Siri. Uh, that's, so that's the first thing you do. You go to your system preferences, you launch Siri, you go to this keyboard shortcut, you choose customize, you enter whatever customized keyboard shortcut you want. Don't worry, you're never going to use it, but you do need to remember what it is for the next step. I'll wait. No, I won't. Moving on. Um, so we've got, uh, we've got a keyboard shortcut for Siri. The next thing you're going to do is come to accessibility and you've selected accessibility. I've already done it here, but your checkbox here for enable dictation keyword phrase is probably not checked. So go ahead and check it and enter, Hey, that'll start your computer listening for a, an accessibility dictation command. Then you're going to come to dictation commands and follow the instructions here. Select a command or click plus to create a new command. And when you do, you're going to end up with a panel that looks like so. Uh, and then you say, when I say Siri, so you're going to say, hey, it's going to listen for it. Then the next word is Siri. And then it's got that one. And you want to make sure that it's going to happen while using any application. And then you're going to tell it to perform a keyboard shortcut. And you're going to choose the keyboard shortcut that you just set. As soon as you click done, you get this magic response. Hey Siri. Voila, and that is as easy as it can be. This is Rusty Ward with Rockerdown Studios, and I hope that was extremely helpful. Thank <laughs> you.